Hello everyone. Welcome to this demonstration of a brain computer interface system or BCI in short. There are different types of BCI systems. In this video, we will be focusing on an SSVP based BCI system. SSVP stands for steady state visually evoked potentials. Now let's see what this means. Suppose you are viewing a screen like this one with boxes flickering at different frequencies. Then let's say you are viewing the topmost box which is flickering at 10 Hz. Then this component of 10 Hz will reflect in the EEG signal recorded from the occipital cortex and this is used as the feature for the detection problem in the SSVEP based BCI system. The experimental setup consists of the open BCI board for the EEG signal acquisition and open vibe software for the signal processing and classification. In this demo, we will use an SSVP based BCI to control a prototype wheelchair. The subject is required to undergo a training session that follows a protocol as shown here. The Q or the yellow marker appears at the zeroth second. Following this is a flickering time period of 7 seconds during which the subject has to focus on the particular box. This is followed by a non-flickering period of 4 seconds. Now here is an example of the training session. The subject will focus on the box that is pointed by the yellow marker. In this way, the training protocol consists of the following parameters. There are 32 trials, each lasting a duration of 12 seconds, that includes the 1 second Q period, 7 seconds of flickering period, and the 4 seconds of non flickering period. Now let's see the demo. Here's the experimental setup. The open BCI board is used to record and process the EEG signals. To control the wheelchair, the subject has to view any one of these boxes. If the subject was viewing the 10 Hz flickering box, then this is detected from the EEG signal and it is mapped to a forward command to move the wheelchair. In a similar way, to move the wheelchair right, the subject has to focus on the 12 Hz and to move it left the subject focus on the 15 Hz flickering box. An Arduino along with a Zigbee module is used to transmit the commands wirelessly to the wheelchair. So here's the demo. The subject is looking at the 10 Hz flicker box and this is making the wheelchair move forward. Now she is focusing on the 12 Hz flicker which makes it turn right and so on. Now in order to stop the wheelchair, the subject has to clench by biting the teeth. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of the video.